Hey everybody, welcome to Rem TV and welcome back to the MLB The Show franchise in the New York Mets. This is episode 21. And if you guys aren't caught, look for a playlist on my channel. And here we are for this June 8th game against Colorado. Um, we're going to be doing a quick manage here. We're going to have Dallas Keuchel versus Antonio Sensazala. And uh, we're going to see what we can do here and hopefully continue maybe a five game winning streak maybe. Uh, we did beat Colorado really easily last time with that home run derby in City Field. So uh, we're going to give a few people days off and hopefully come out with the dub. Okay. All right. All right. I like it. All right. That's a single by Lowry. One run scored. Okay. No by uh, McNeil. Unable to capitalize. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's going to be a tie game. No. All right. Six plus, nothing. Okay. So far, pretty quiet game on both ends. A double. Uh, bunt. Neil with a double, there you go, driving in a run. I like it. Okay. So far, still so quiet. 2 nothing still. Pike with a bunt. Walk to McNeil. Rosario with a field of choice. Kaiko with a pretty pretty decent game right now. Um, this allows with a double. So that's with a fly out and bang. So it's ninth inning pitching change. Let's put in Mr. Diaz. Nice run throw down at home. There you go we went 2-0. Alright that's a game I like to see. Diaz with a 17 save. That was Keiko the player of the game. Five strikeouts. No earned runs. Eight innings pitched. Next game we're playing is a finale against Colorado. We already won the series, so there's nothing. I'm not worried about that anymore. And let's see. We got the Jacob DeGrom against Kyle Freeland, who's a lefty. And let's give some people some days off. Um, who can we move around here? McNeil will give you day off too. Since we won, I'm going to reward people day off. Uh, let's put in Gomez. And Conforto can probably use a day off. Bar is in there. And let's move everybody around. I think. This is a pretty uh, weak lineup, to be honest. There's not a lot of power hitters. Uh, so we have to really worry about that. So let's just move people around. Let's see what we can do here. Jake. There you go. Come on, guys, a base hit. Something. Damn it. Uh, base is loaded. Come on, LeBron. Oh my god, give him a double. Oh my gosh. Guys, really? getting slaughtered out there. Let's put in Lugo. There you go. Two run home run. A double. Wow, guys. Wow. This is insane. We're gonna, we gotta demolish this game. We lose 10 to 2. I just fast forward it because there's no way we're gonna come back from that. Uh, Jacob DeGrom gets his seventh loss of the season. He already bumps up over three. Yeah, that sucks. Um, so we're going to be playing the Yankees next. It's going to be Luis Severino uh, with the 42 and 24 Yankees. Uh, 
we got Noah Syndergaard on the mound, so that should be pretty interesting. I'm very excited about that. And yeah, see you guys in Yankee Stadium. And you got a potential three run bomb. Look out for these guys going deep today. That ball's headed for the gap. And there you go. That's a base hit by Canal. It's going to be a double. Possibly more. I think. Yeah, it reached the left center of the wall. That's going to be a double for Bobby Cano. That's a shot by Yohan Cespedes, and it's out of here. That is a two-run home run by Yohannes Cespedes going to opposite field. And that's number 15 in the season. It's a two-run shot here for Yohannes Cespedes. Home run number 15 for him thus far. continues to stay hot. As he goes to to opposite nothing. field hey, right off Severino. The about standing out there on the bump, Into the stands. Two nothing Mets. Did you find that you started to really pitch better as the summer months started to get hotter? Two, 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 no doubt, not only does the team start feeling better, but I think you get a good vibe starting to go throughout the clubhouse. You Rounds out to first. The schedule is trying, starting to wind they itself down. Here to Every take a look at the lineup for the Yankees. Hey, Brett. Really good baseball lately. With that, it's time to check out the starting. Yeah, Brett Gardner batting first, followed by Aaron Hicks, Aaron Judge, Gary Sanchez, Miguel Andujar, Cleber Torres, Didi Gregorius, Luke Volt, and Troy Tulowitzki. Obviously, those power. The Yankees lead the AL in home runs at 97. With only one away. Fouled away. Sanchez over one at second. Two to Torres Didi. at first, one gone. Swing and miss on a fastball. That time out number two. 100 miles an hour. That's a high fastball. Didi to get the second out. The quality of the at bats they're putting together. All right, Heidi. Thank you. A swing and that is another shot by Owen Cespedes. Where is this going? Upper deck shot. Into the second deck and go on the opposite field again. I think that was a. Change up the hung in there, but that's number 16 for a Yo. Solo home run here off the bat of Yoenis Cespedes. His second as a multi-home run game, game by the big guy. Hopefully your ankle lead. heals up well in real life, but Yoenis Cespedes drives it deep, making a three-nothing well, game. If you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. Uh, so it's just held up, but boy, is a pitcher. You're hoping that he swings at that one. That ball's headed for the gap. That's going to be a good hit by, hit by Ramos. He's rounding first, pushing to second base. And that is a double and at Wilson Ramos. The plan is simple. Lay off that slider and make it bring up something straight in the strike zone. Ooh, it's going to be a base hit up the middle. He sinks. No way. Oh, boy. This is a mistake. I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought he was going to stick to it. I didn't expect to actually stop it, but. The Mets are able to take their opposite field knock. And in today's game, where every manager is employing hundreds of shifts to watch this batter go the other way was special. Softly hit down the Double play ball out of second. Out of first. Very close double play around the horn. Top stage are getting started. To Cano. To Alonzo. Solid line drive like he did it. And all you One have to, to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. Looking Got to look at the fastball. Inning the over. Inning. So the batting average. And you can see there, they're just one place off the top spot in the NL in that category. Line toward the gap That's in a left good center. shot by Wilson Ramos. And that ball Check gets down out near for the wall. Home. He's going to round third. Pitch is going home, and he's going to be home. safe. That's an RBI and double for Wilson Ramos so and Mets are up four and nothing. Hitting, guys. Nice yeah, job there. Yeah, That's the second double of the game. When you're given the chance, Look at Wilson Ramos' batting average, right over 300. He just takes what's there. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Down with the fastball, just like I wanted. Out number two here in the sixth. 
He has no go no a Syndergaard a six strikeout of the night. Inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't he had not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. It's a base hit. He's gonna drive at least one run. This is gonna be an RBI single. But Pete Alonso making five nothing Mets. And they're not gonna get him. He's in there at the plate. Sometimes you gotta tip your cap. The that was a hot shot to the third base. Right the Unable to get it. That's Pete, Pete Alonzo's RBI for the night. Three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's throwing a bunch. And you win us! Home run number three of the night. This time a three run home run. What is going on? All going opposite directions, but that is crush number 17 for yo. Going 412 so feet. Run shot to straight away right field. Oh my his goodness, his bat is scorching. This lead to eight in Yankee now. Stadium. Driving McNeil and Alonzo. Well, you have oh a my gosh, all he, he <laughs> all he's trick, needs is a grand slam for a home run cycle this game. Night. But that's the baseball nonetheless, the this is more than impressive for Yohan Cespedes, who's been struggling all year. Move into the later innings, down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get Ooh, them. Oh, I'm looking at the curveball. That was filthy. Judge didn't know what he was looking at. That's a seventh strike out of the game. Trying to send him back in for the second time. And he struck out. Down the fastball. That's Syndergaard's ninth strike out of the night. And we are moving to the now, top of the ninth. Three and two to Hicks. Now in the box, Aaron Hicks. He's their last shot here He's with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt. They the ball game is over and the Mets win eight nothing behind the pitching of Noah Syndergaard and the scorching bat of Wilson uh, Chainsaw of, uh, well, of uh, Cespedes. Really it was a solo home run. I know a two-run shot, a solo home run, a three-run home run. And eight nothing shutout. That's a big win for the Mets at six RBIs for Cespedes. That should well, definitely well, contribute to his uh, struggling, struggling average. Wow. So it wraps it up here for the Mets and my Mets franchise. Hope you guys liked it. Click that thumbs up button if you did. Try and get at least three to five likes. Uh, for those who've been watching my videos consistently, thank you so much. Um, I still have to do a shout out for Pure Shots. Uh, I haven't got a chance to do a shout out to him. He asked me if I could throw his name out there. So here you go, buddy. And uh, leave any comments below. And if you haven't already subscribed and click the notification bell. And I hope you, have to, I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.